Hi, I'm Andrew Trindle. You're watching Enemy. We're here at Mad Cool Festival with Licky Lee. Hi. How are you doing this evening, Licky? Good, how are you? Really good. It's really hot. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. But um, the last time we spoke was just before you released So Sad, So Sexy. How's life been? It's been intense. It's been a lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah. So we caught you at uh, Brixton Academy. That was an incredible, incredible show. How do you feel that the mood of So Sad, So Sexy has like changed your live performance? It definitely helped me step into a bit of a character a little more and, and step into my strength and kind of like, fuck it, which is nice. Fuck it, that would look good on a tour poster. Yeah. <laughs> and um, how did you come to work with Mark Ronson recently? I've been kind of around the same circle as him for years and years and then he just asked me to come by the studio one day and sing on something and then I ended up writing the chorus to Late Night Feelings and then I got asked back to do some more songs so yeah. It's a fucking banger. You think? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Uh, is that in the live set now? Not tonight, but it will be in London, yes. Yeah, you're in London to play with is it Florence next week. Mm -hmm. Florence and On National. Saturday, yeah. Amazing. And so again, has the, have the Mark Ronson songs kind of changed the chemistry of the live show? Uh, well, it's not in tonight, but it, it's definitely another energy, so it's a little tricky to fit it in, but I will do my best. I need to ask, uh, literally hasn't, your mezcal is fucking delicious. I have some in like a clean canteen Where? in my dressing room. <laughs> What's it called again? Yola. 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 It's really, really good. Dangerous, I would say. It's good, Because yeah. it goes down so smooth. I know. You don't I, really feel that you're drinking yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. How's the mezcal business going? It's going really well. Yeah. I'm really excited about that part. And um, you have the... Mezcal Festival coming up as well. Yes, Yola Dia in August 18th in LA, and I'm very excited about that. With an amazing lineup. Yes, strong women. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, uh, what can you tell us about kind of your relationship with Courtney Love and how you got her on board? Well, she's just an icon, and and we have the same manager, so it's just an easy ask. Collab on stage that night, maybe? Maybe. We'll definitely have a drink, yes. <laughs> <laughs> have you had any thoughts about new material and where you want to take your sound next? Yes, very much. And I think to everyone's, I don't know, maybe disappointment, um, I'm going to really uh, scale it down and strip it back and slow it down. <laughs> so like mellow licky. Yeah. Like, like more like soul music. Yeah. Still sad and still sexy, but... Still sad, still sexy, okay. yes. Because you spoke about how the last record was kind of very much a coming-of-age record, you turning yeah. 30, going through a lot, becoming a mother, etc. How would you say that life is inspiring the new record? I mean, what can you tell us about kind of the mood of the new material? Well, I think I'm realizing that, you know, I'm not a spring chicken anymore, and there's, like, way, like, younger, hungrier people around, so I'm kind of, like probably at the tail end of my career so I really want to go out in style and just do something that exactly what I want to do which is like music from the heart and not care about anything else no inhibitions no <laughs> or ambitions yeah you made that sound quite final I mean are you considering no but like you know I don't care anymore about like I don't know it's an interesting way to be in the music industry where like everyone around you cares about like, I don't know, like streams or hits or this. And I'm just like, I really don't care. So I think I'm gonna go into that zone of just making music that I want to make and not care about anything else. So you don't really look around as what's relevant now and that doesn't well, touch I you. Well I do, but I see it and I'm like, you know, that's the generation of today. So why even try to, you know, that's something different. I'm not a that vibe at all. Do you think it'll be a long wait until the next record or relatively soon? I hope not. But I, I, I think I'll release, I mean, I'm releasing an EP, I just forgot. Yeah, like soon, in a few weeks. Tomorrow I'm dropping a Skrillex remix too of Two Nights. Is that a banger? Yeah, that's a banger, <laughs> yeah. So you've, you've got the, the Mezcal thing on the side. Is there any kind of other kind of extracurricular activities that you're tempted to go into? Um, I would love to uh, write a poetry book. <laughs> yeah. Would that be dark poetry? Or? Yes. 
How, like, how different course. would that be from your lyrics? No, it would be really interesting to like move away from that and just go into pure writing. Yeah. So Licky Lee, Mezcal, poetry, everything. Songs Bangers. sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Licky, thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you. Great. Sorry.